Alright, so welcome ladies and gentlemen to another video and today I want to talk about world PvP, why it's utterly broken, bloody unbalanced and just bad in general, okay? So first of all, because this is a PvE channel, I should probably introduce myself and tell you something about my druid because I expect more random people to stumble across this video. I don't expect many of my subscribers to actually watch this. So. My druid is called Helmans. He's made out of mayonnaise and he's a very sexy troll. He's been raiding Pandaria Heroics pretty much throughout the entire expansion. And thanks to that I have 572 item level. Which means that I can do that. Hit someone for, for 150k with one spell, instant cast, you're dead. Alright. That's the first problem I have with open world PvP. PvEers are too goddamn strong. When Pandaria launched, we had none of this basic resilience. If you are not wearing PvP gear, you have zero resilience. Precisely zero, none, nulla, nits. Okay? <laughs> so, when a PvPer saw me, because I am on a PvP server, even though I'm a PvE player, when a PvPer saw me he was like, oh shit, that guy's gonna get it. Today he looks at my HP and goes, oh no, that's a PvE -er. No, 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 I I'm not touching that with a 10 foot internet pole. Just go away from me, I don't want to have anything to do with you. Because I just have too much gear. I have too much fucking gear. Your skill is irrelevant at this point because I have so much gear that you can't do anything about it. Multiple times I fought 1v3, I pop all my cooldowns and I can two shot them. Every single one of them. If they are wearing PvP gear, they are dead. Because I'm just doing so much fucking damage. And that's not fair. That's unfair. That's just so unfair to PvP players. You know, and PvEers are happy. They're like, oh, I'm the fucking god. Then they go into a battleground. They finally get their fucking gear downscale and they die all the time. Like me. <laughs> but in world PvP, it's ridiculous. It's the same fucking thing that happened in vanilla. And I'm going to explain it to you. Why? Because some people just went, what? In vanilla, gear was more than PvP. Uh, PvP skill, I should say. <laughs> if you had a lot of PvE gear, it doesn't matter how good the PvPer is, he's gonna die. He's just gonna die. <laughs> okay, gear weights more than skill right now, and the same thing was in vanilla. I used to be a warrior in vanilla. And I was raiding Nax Ramus, which means I had some really good gear. I was protection. But every once in a while I would get a piece of gear for arms. What would happen in Battlegrounds is I would charge someone, I would press one button, mortal strike, and it would crit, and the crit would do more damage than the person has health. So I would charge a priest with, let's just say, 5k HP, I would press mortal strike and it would crit him for 6k, and he would die. And the same thing is happening again. Look at this hunter! Look at this hunter! Moonfire, 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 dead. That's what I can do right now. No skill, just nothing. I can just press three buttons and I can kill every single class wearing PvP gear in open world PvP. That's how bad it is. Alright? So it's the first problem. PV ears should have zero resilience precisely zero resilience okay next problem this clip world pvp in places around pandaria not on timeless isle or isle of thunder i try to kill this priest he fears me and look at the background flying mount zoom, gone then he sits there like a cocky fucker up in the air so i obviously face bomb because that's what you should do Flying mounts, they broke it. They really did. You no longer run into players in zones. Okay, let's switch back to uh, Timeless Isle now. It's mostly flying mounts. 
looking for grip tool, yes, that has something to do with it, but it's mostly flying mounts. Okay, in vanilla, if I wanted to do some world PvP, I would go into Silithus because people were doing reputation there. But wait, there is loads of reputation dailies in Pandaria. How come I never run into people? Well, just go into a zone. Press O by default, that will open the who list. Type in Z dash and a name of a zone. And it will show you how many people are there. There is loads of people there. But they are in the air at different heights. The only time you can see someone in a zone in Pandaria is when they decide to fly at the same height as you while doing daily quests, just zooming from place to place. Okay? That's the problem. Also, the LFG tool. Alright? Back in Vanilla and in TBC, before the LFG tool came in, people went in near dungeon entrances. And yes, while it might have annoyed you that someone is standing in front of that dungeon entrance, killing you, you can still get in. Okay, it's not that big of a deal. And at the end of the day, you chose a PvP server. Okay, when you're choosing a PvP server, you are agreeing that you might be killed by other people. If you don't like that, well, fuck you. That's the only thing I can say. If you're on a PvP server and you're complaining about PvP going on, then just fuck you. Okay, I'm not a PvP person, I'm a PvE person. Yes, I get ganked, but what's the big fucking deal? Okay. Ultimately, in Dranor, it's gonna be much better because flying mounts are coming in in 6.1, which is the big patch. You know, it's probably gonna have a new raid. So for a couple of months we won't have flying mounts, so we will finally run into people again. And it's gonna be glorious. I think it is. I think it's gonna be glorious. No flying mounts. Excellent. Just awesome. Yeah. What do you think? I think it's just fucking unfair right now for PvP players. It's just fucking unfair. You know, you can be the best player in the world and I can still kill you by pressing three buttons with my eyes closed. Because I just do too much damage, I have too much healing, I have too much health. You're dead. And this paladin. This fucking paladin. I stunned him so beautifully. He got hit by the mob. Okay, here it comes. Vortex, beam, and a fucking bubble stone. A goddamn old school fucking bubble stone. He was just like, nope, I'm out. And there was the first mob he killed there. He killed one mob, and instead of fighting, he was just like, oh no, fuck this place. Fuck this place. I've killed my one mob. I'm out of here. <laughs> so yeah, what do you think about this issue? What do you think about world PvP? I think it just should be there. On PvP servers, people should be killing each other. It's World of Warcraft. It's not a fucking World of Hippie Craft. Just go and kill the other fucking faction. Go and punch them in the face. They are the other faction. We don't like them. They are making faces behind our back. It's ridiculous. I just hate the idea that PvP is unfair to PvPers. It's just ridiculous.